Right now at five, furious in taking action. A family facing homelessness is suing Gaston County Schools. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Francis. The lawsuit comes after a mother says her children were kicked out of class at a time when they had nowhere else to go. Queen City News reporter Casey Jones is live from Gaston County School headquarters with new details about this case. Casey. This lawsuit identifies a Gaston County mother as KL. It says that this mother has two children who were experiencing homelessness. Both of them were removed from their schools and one of the kids was even removed from the cheer team. And now this suit is suing to hopefully get KL's kids back in their original schools. A Gaston County mother claims her children were kicked out of school for being homeless. The 17-page lawsuit filed January 26th states a disabled veteran mother who identifies herself as KL was evicted in September of 2023. At that time, her children were students at New Hope Elementary and Cramerton Middle School. With two children and nowhere to go, the suit states the mother switched both children to car riders while searching for steady housing. Kathy Gogger is the executive director at Catherine's House. She sees women and children in similar situations while experiencing homelessness. Many of our kids are receiving McKinney-Vento transportation, so they are coming from a school that is not within our catchment area because that was best for their kids. The suit states KL tried to meet with Gaston County District officials and school social workers to keep her kids at their same schools, but was denied, something Gogger says could impact students academically. It can lead to an increase in behavioral problems within the school system. It can lead to um, poor outcomes academically. It can lead to repeated grades um, where they have to go back to the same grade and repeat the fifth grade again. Um, and that would then leave them without their uh, that friend group that they were with. Uh, it can lead to health, unfortunate health outcomes, mental health outcomes. The lawsuit is asking for Gaston County Schools to let KL's kids go back to their original schools as stated in the McKinney-Vento Act and state law. Gogger says the district should get the issue ironed out because the numbers of children experiencing homelessness are increasing. The trauma of losing your roof over your head is one thing, but to lose the classroom that you're comfortable with, the teachers that you're comfortable with, the friend group that you're comfortable with can be, can be very traumatic as well. I reached out to Gaston County Schools officials today multiple times, not just for comment on this lawsuit, but I also wanted to better understand their policies and procedures when it comes to children experiencing homelessness. But all of my attempts were ignored. Reporting live in Gaston County, Casey Jones, Queen City News.